One of the primary questions skeptics ask Bigfoot researchers is this. How can you believe in something that you have never seen? Today's case file, I'm going to be talking about Bigfoot and belief. researchers out there or people who claim to be researchers who end up caving and say well I, ha I have seen it I have seen Bigfoot whether that's true or not and you know there might be a few people who are who are being truthful about that but I think generally speaking it's probably a lie I am a believer in Bigfoot not in the sense that a lot of people tend to be. I do believe that Sasquatch is an animal. I think it's probably more gorilla than it's typically made out to be. A lot of depictions of it come off far more humanoid. It's probably very humanoid, but I think it's probably more gorilla than what we realize. But the question is, why do we believe Bigfoot is real? Well, we've seen a lot of evidence, or at least what we assume is evidence photograph or a really well-defined footprint and sure especially in today's day and age any of that could be faked I mean you could go on your computer design a 3d model of a Bigfoot foot and then 3d print it to the size you want and stomp it in the mud a few times for somebody to find later or for you to make your own cast of uh, or you could use AI to make photos of Bigfoot and, you, and I mean, we've, we've got cell phone cameras right now that have like 4K quality. So how come we haven't seen a 4K picture or video of Bigfoot yet? Part of it is far fewer people are spending time out in nature. And that's a real tragedy. We used to discover more about our world when people explored it. And people think, well, you know, there's nothing to explore now. I disagree. I think there's plenty of untouched wilderness that uh, can be explored. But you have things such as photographs, video, footprints, the occasional hair sample, or the occasional tree structure. But none of that is a Sasquatch. So does that mean Sasquatch doesn't exist? Does that mean everything's a hoax? No. If you were to go out in the woods where people say they see a lot of deer, you could spend several hours out there and you are not going to see a deer, especially if you're out there hooting and hollering like a maniac. But you may find some footprints, some droppings, maybe a shed antler or two. You might even be lucky enough to find a, a deer rub where a buck has rubbed up against a tree marking his turf. Maybe you've found an area where he's rutted out the ground. But if you are unfamiliar with deer behavior and the signs of what to look for in finding a white-tailed deer, you might walk out there and be like, whoa, somebody's been scraping up on this tree. It must be a, a humanoid of some kind, maybe a, a monkey or a primate. You might see this clear patch in the middle of the forest where there should be leaves and it's just flat dirt. And you might be, well, maybe aliens touch down here. You might not realize that it's just a deer. But if you've studied deer behavior, maybe you're looking even for a new species, but let's say you're not. Let's say you're just looking for your standard white tail American deer. You go out and you find all these signs of deer, but you don't see any. If you're a deer hunter, would it even be worth putting the time and effort to set up a trail camera and set up a deer stand and maybe put out some feed? Because you didn't see any deer. You don't have any hard proof. Yes, deer exist right here in this area. Well, you do have proof. You do have evidence, at least, that deer have been in the area at some point. So when we look at the evidence for Bigfoot, it is very clear that 
some sort of unknown creature exhibiting unfamiliar behaviors to the rest of nature that we have documented does indeed exist. Could it be a creature that is known that is exhibiting unknown behavior? Sure, it could be. But we know it's either one of those two scenarios. It's a creature we know exhibiting unknown behavior or an unknown creature exhibiting these behaviors. And these are common behaviors. These are common signs we find all across the U.S. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. Just wanted to let you know about our partnership with Dubby Energy. They're a completely jitterless energy drink. They've got lots of great flavors. And if you use promo code MHS Network at checkout, you will save 10% on your order. Again, MHS Network at checkout. Thank you. Now back to the show. Despite the insurmountable amount of evidence for Sasquatch and the equally massive amount of people who believe that Bigfoot is real, the case remains open. Hey everyone, thank you for watching our new Case Files series. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also become a channel member now if you'd like to support our content moving forward. Thanks again, and we'll see you later for another case file.